150th birthday for Tui's and the Theo Marksfield is about to be dispatched now. Ready. And the gates are back, they're off, and Trope immediately taken back to the rear and deployed jump best with Baller quickly in a stride on the outside, and Baller's going to press for the lead. Zusain away quickly in third from Redouble, and Arcadia Queen very handy, fifth on the rails, followed by El Dorado Dreaming. Then came Tom Melbourne further back to Volce Velope. Second last is Gem Song, and Trope about six, seven lengths off at the rear. Down the side, and deploy holds the front by three quarters to Baller on the quick backup. Zusain in a handy third. Just shading the favourite Arcadia Queen. Tom Melbourne on a wide trip around Redouble. Then came El Dorado Dreaming, followed by Volpe Veloce. Wider out is Trope trying to take closer water. And Gem Song is last of all. A long odds leader deploy coming around the corner by a length and a half now. On baller as deploy tries to pinch it here. Zusain in third. Arcadia Queen working into the clear. Into the straight and deploy swings two in front from baller and Arcadia Queen revved up by McDonald. And the mayor is starting to close in quickly. Arcadia Queen lays it down to deploy and they're broken clear from the rest. Wide out Trope is running on but Arcadia Queen at the 100. Two lengths clear from Trope is going into a clear second. Then came Gem Song but the Queen of the West, Arcadia Queen. Too good in the Theo marks. Won it by two lengths to Trope. Gem Song third. Then came Redouble. Further back to Zusain El Dorado dreaming. Deploy weakened out. Followed then by Tom Melbourne from Volpe Veloce and Baller wasn't up to the task. Arcadia Queen, uh, welcome to Sydney. The Everest preparation is officially underway for the Bob Peters race to Arcadia Queen. This outstanding mare sitting in a very prominent position in the run. And the moment James McDonald worked her into clear running early stages of the...